G'day guys, Greg here. Now, the other day I made a video saying how sick I was, and yes, yes, I have got the flu. And everyone was saying, Greg, you should be going to the doctor and getting checked out. And I'm like, dude, I'm a male. We don't go to the doctors, okay? It's just something that we don't do. We just sit at home and suffer and complain and whinge. That's what we do. But uh, then I figured, you know what, I pay 2% of my income in Medicare fees and I never go to the doctor, which means some bludgers bludging off my 2%. So I thought, ah, might as well go and use some of it up. So I went in there. It was a bulk billing doctor too, so that was good. And uh, anyway, I went in there and I, I was just, I had the flu and I was just like, you know that dead body feeling and your eyes are hurting from behind and my chest was like tight and all the symptoms. And uh, I was going, man, I just don't know, you know. I don't know if it's corona or not. And he goes, he checks my throat and everything. He goes, well, I can send you for a test if you want one. I was like, well, no, I don't really want one. I couldn't be bothered, you know. It's just going to cost the government more money. And, um, you know, enrich some pathology uh, place. So I said, well, do I, do I need to go and get one? He goes, nah, nah, you don't need to go and get one. So I'm thinking, well, why is there such a big deal about this virus when, like, no one cares? The only people that are caring are uh, the, the, the whiners and the whingers. And then, and then today they cancel all flights leaving Australia. And I'm thinking, why can you, why, how can they stop me from going overseas on a holiday? Well, I have. And I think it's absolutely atrocious that that they're stopping people freely moving around the world. I think it's an absolute disgrace. So, and then I'm thinking, well, should I cancel my ticket to America? It's in like three months time and maybe everything will be fine by then. But I'm just thinking, well, if I cancel it now, maybe I can rebook it for maybe half the price of the ticket that I paid. <laughs> But it says if I do cancel it, there are fees involved, but the Qantas website doesn't tell you what those fees are. So I'm too scared to cancel it now, just in case. And, you know, I'll, I'll leave for a couple more months, and if this stuff's still going on, then, then I'll start worrying about it. But until now, I'm not worried. And, uh, well, I did go to the mailbox, and I got a letter from, uh, well, to the householder, which is me, and we apparently have a, an election coming up like next weekend. I don't even know what it's for. I know there's heaps of signs around, like with people's heads on them. But the funny thing is like, none of them have like affiliates to any parties or anything. Like there's no liberal ones or labor or the commies or whatever. And so I don't even know who these people are. But I got this one from uh, Pauline Young. I don't know who she is. Well, she looks like a bogan, doesn't she? Let's have a look. There we go. That's, that's Pauline Young. She wants me to vote for her. <laughs> yeah, mate. Bongs for everyone is probably what her motto is. Uh, dear resident, my name is Councillor Pauline Young. So apparently she's a councillor. I don't even know her. And on these things, it, it, like it, it doesn't even say, like, what what party they belong to. So I'm really confused about these elections. I don't know what it's all about, but I did get a card to say, I have to bring this uh, to the election thing. Bring this card with you to vote. I'm like, well, what if I don't want it? I haven't even got my license because I lost that. You know, I went and applied for a new one though. And that was a pain. Had to sit in there with all the other subhumans in the Department of Transport waiting. Uh, so apparently there's an election coming up. I don't know what it's for. It's for a councillor. I don't even know what they do. Obviously, there's too many of these people around. We're, we're so over-governed in this country. We are a nanny state. And well, now I'm not even allowed to um, travel overseas or wipe my backside because some guy in China ate a bat. That's what it all boils down to. Oh, I just don't know what to do, mate. But 
one of my awesome subscribers, Anthony Monteiro. I don't know where he's from, but uh, I think he could be from America. God bless him, whoever he is, Anthony. But he wrote a nice long letter to me and he sent me some beer fun. So today, in your honor, I'm gonna crack open a 4X skull. So how about we do this? This is one of my favorite beers. It's a 3.5% alcohol, 375 mil can. This is what a beer sounds like. Oh, greatest sound in the world. And let's just see the color of a 4X gold. Now, the doctor didn't actually give me any medicines or anything. He said, just stay home and rest. So, I mean, surely this has got to be part of the resting process, right? Having a beer. Tell you what, this smells so good. Oh, wow. Look at that color. Oh, look at that hair. It just, I mean, I mean, it's just heaven, right? Let's see if I can get these colors a bit better so you can see. Oh, yeah. Nice and fizzy. My favorite beer, one of, so tasty, so delicious, and, well, you know, this is my medicine, so I better start, I better take my medicine right, kids. Oh, oh man. It is such a good balance of all the flavors. I mean, the, well, let me see. It's got this slight caramelly flavor that is so smooth over your tongue. It is a little bit fizzy and the fizz sort of does give that nice bite. But it's perfect for the tropics that uh, that is Queensland and the heat up here. Tell you what, these things are so easy to drink too. But with the 3.5% alcohol, you don't get as um, pissy, is that a word? Yeah, so you can drink more of them and and stay upright. And <coughs> there's a corona coming back. <coughs> yeah. See, the best thing about these things is that it's one standard drink. I think it's one standard drink. Does that say one? I don't even know what that says. Does that say three? Oh, no, one. I was reading it backwards. I thought it was, oh, I don't know. But it's one standard drink. So you're allowed to drink two drinks in the first hour and every hour after that you can have one. So you can have two cans and then every hour after that, one can, one can. Stay within the limit. So it's a, that's why they make it like you know, the 3.5% alcohol. Plus, you know, it saves you from a hangover in the morning and... And I tell you what, this beer tastes really, really good. I really like it. I think it's absolutely delicious. It's one of the cheaper ones too. Well, it is up here at least. But I love this beer. It's definitely my favorite, sort of. Well, there's heaps of other ones that I like too, but if I'm gonna go and order one, I always order this one. And why wouldn't you drink the thing that you love? I love my Forex gold. Please, Forex, sponsor me and send me a carton every week. I'll be a friend for life. But uh, <laughs> uh, there we go. That's, that's my issues for the couple of days. I've been to the doctor. I've been told to rest. And, well, I have been. Just been lying on the couch watching, like, Netflix, like stupid things on Netflix. I'll tell you what, I've, I've, I've thumbed through everything on Netflix and there's nothing on there I want to watch. I don't even know why I don't pay for it. Probably because I don't. But I mean, there's a good reason why I don't and that's because there's nothing good on there. But anyway, there we go. Um, thanks for watching and well, hopefully I can get better soon because... I've just been lying on the couch. I need to do some exercise. I really hate not doing exercise, you know. I love getting out there and, and, and like going out for a walk. But today, all I've eaten is one meat pie and it's uh, four o'clock in the afternoon. So that's all I've eaten today, one meat pie. So I'm on my losing weight. I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying to get down to just above 90 kilos, if that's possible. 
Haven't been there for like 10 years. And well, let's see if I can do it. Right, yeah, well, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you later. Catch ya.